Hi, I'm Shauna Bryant, and I am so happy to welcome you to the new PC Women's Online Talk Show. And the new stands for the next experience for women. Mm -hmm. And it's based on a scripture from Isaiah 43, 19 that says, see, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Can you not perceive it? And it. this is our brainchild, this creative genius <laughs> over here next to me that came up with this show. And I also want to give a shout out to Anakina who designed our amazing logo. I just yeah. think it has a little hint of Jesus in it. Do you see yeah. it? I just love it. So again, we're so excited to have you here. I'm here with Kim Lichty and F.A. Waje, and of course, Joni Oquist. So glad to be uh, here, Joni. We're so happy to be here, all of us. It's great, isn't it? And Shauna, let me just say, I wanted to share just a minute, just your impact of the message that you shared you. last yes. week. For those of you that might have missed it, but she talked about how, you know, hearing from God, and she told this very powerful story. And as I was meditating on it the rest of the day, the Lord was just showing me how we have to be careful because it was the enemy that came at your most vulnerable right. time. That's I mean, right. here she had just lost yeah. her son mm -hmm. and he disguised his voice to kind of sound like the Lord's. Mm -hmm. yeah. And thankfully, what spoke out spoke to me as well, Shauna, was that you stayed engaged in the mm -hmm. word, even as you were grieving, you mm -hmm. stayed engaged in the word of God mm -hmm. so that truth continued mm -hmm. to be revealed to you. Right. So the discerning um, power of the Holy Spirit in you was able to notice like wait a minute that is not the voice of jesus mm -hmm. and that's what really stuck out to me and ladies that's another reason why it's so important that we stay connected yes. in the body of christ yes. because you know when you're so down and vulnerable you don't you're not as on guard right that's and so right. that's why we have to be yeah. there to help each help other if you've got a friend yes. going yes. through something difficult mm -hmm. help them be aware yes. of just the enemy's tactics he's very yes. subtle so thank you for that mm -hmm. you're welcome that's you're awesome. welcome so I know that every week we have a scripture, right? Yes. That has to do with something new. Yes. And you know, this scripture from Lamentations 3, 22 and 23 really saw me through that grieving time. I mean, Lamentations, it's right. a lament, right? Right. right? And he's talking about remembering his, his, mm -hmm. his gall and all of the horrible things that he went through. But you may recognize the scripture. It's one of my favorites. Again, it's from Lamentations 3, 22, 23. And it says, because of the Lord's great love, mm. we are not consumed. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For his compassions never fail. Hallelujah. They are new every morning. Hallelujah. Great Hallelujah. is your faithfulness. Yeah. Yeah. Again, if you don't know that scripture, you might know the old hymn, Great yeah. is my faithfulness. His yes. mercies are new every morning. In fact, there's a newer song, Your mercies are new every morning. Yes. And I wonder if you can think of a new mercy that you received even just today. If you're watching live yes. on Facebook, we want to engage with you. And so if you wouldn't mind, and I think, I don't know if you guys ever watch things live on Facebook when there's a huge mm -hmm. audience and you see all these hearts and all these thumbs yes. up yeah. floating up That's on the great. side. It's yeah. encouraging. Like, I want to have some of that. So would you just do that right now? <laughs> you just see the little heart or a little thumbs up. That's Post you some of the new mercies that you love mm -hmm. about God. And we would mm -hmm. love to hear from you and engage with you. Mm -hmm. And right now, I want to go back to Kim because you, I know it's summer, Right. right. Sometimes our summer vacations are notable, right? Yeah. Especially family summer vacations. You oh, yes. have a story about that. Oh, yeah. Well, I have a lot of stories. But, you know, I mean, summer vacations, yeah. you know, school's out, kids home. With five kids, I'll just say summer vacations are a lot of things. Fun, memorable, relaxing is not an adjective. No. It comes to my I, mind. No. I would and agree. we have our share of stories, but I'm thinking of one that was about mm, six, seven years ago. Okay. Mm. So the kids, we're not tiny. They range in age from like 11 to 21 at that point in time. So I'd kind of gotten over the whole, you know, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. one, two, you know, wherever we yeah. went, right? Because that was always, <laughs> that was not fun. So, but this year it's like, you know what? I'm not up for a road trip. No Disneyland. Let's just kind of, you know, keep it a little calmer, closer to home. Let's go to Yosemite. We don't spend a ton of time there. Let's just hike some trails, you know, keep it a little low key. Well, you know, that was the plan. So we drive, we get to, I think Glacier Point was our first stop. Mm -hmm. My son, college kid, home from the summer, camera gear. I mean, he's out the door and to look out point right. before oh, the rest so of us beautiful. are even like, you know, mm -hmm. kind of hauling ourselves out. You know, one of the girls, someone needs to use the bathroom. I find a restroom, you know, and my husband's got the map doing the thing. And, you know, kind of grouped together. Okay, well, let's go down this path. And, you know, my husband looks around. And he's like, well, where's Emily? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, now Emily's child number four. 
okay, in the lineup. And if anybody is going to get distracted, wander off, it is my Emily. I mean, she knows no stranger. So she'll just talk and chat. And I'm like, well, he's like, well, was she in the restroom with you? Well, I don't think so. You know, so I trips back there with one of the girls. And, you know, the older girl goes to catch up with her brother. Well, did, you know, did Emily run up and try to go with Sean? Well, Roderick heads down another trailhead and, you know, we're calling her name. We're kind of making a scene, That's you know, been, and she's not in the restroom. So, you know, my mama heart is starting to do this, right? Yeah, right. Panic. Panic. And Sean comes back. No, Emily is not with, not with him and my husband. You know, we're not finding her. So I am, you know, like, Jesus, where is my daughter? My husband, thankfully, you know, Mr. Law Enforcement, a little, little laid back, a little calm. He's like, okay, take a breath. And, of course, this was before everybody carried a cell phone, right? right. So it's not like... You know, not like today Scary. where we just text her. So there was no telling where she was. He's like, you know, 90% of the time, get called out for a missing child. They are wherever you last saw them. Mm. Like, you know, parents are like, we've searched the house. No, they're there. Go back again. <laughs> so he circles back to the parking lot, you know, where our big blue excursion is there. He walks up to a window and kind of does this. And boom, <laughs> there is Emily's face like this against the glass. And she's smiling. Not good, right? He's like, what are you doing? He unlocks it, pulls that door open, and she's, well, somebody shut me in here before I could get out. He's like, you are 12. Unlock the door and climb out. <laughs> and what is the matter? She's like, I didn't want to set off the car alarm, right? Bonk, bonk. She hates loud noises mm -hmm. and would have rather sat in that stifling car than have gotten out and heard that and made a scene. And she said, you guys all look so funny running around, you know. Like, oh, <laughs> Why are you meeting me? So Do I look like I'm amused, right? Well, obviously I'm telling the story now, so it's funny now, but that day, not so much. Yeah. <laughs> no. so and so I went back to doing the whole one, two, three, four, five. You know, it just reminded me that it's a long road to maturity. You know, they're never even at that point really grown up, but you know. So, yeah, but we laugh about it now. It's an Emily story. It's a vacation story. Yeah. So if you have a vacation story that you would like to share, please do, so that I know I'm not the only one that almost <laughs> left right. a child behind somewhere. You know, it's just one of those heart-stopping moments. And if you are on vacation, please enjoy yourself. <laughs> and you can join us, though. You can find us online, and if you're live, you're in for a treat because... We have our F.A. here this morning, and she is a gifted teacher, a local dentist, and has a timely word for us this morning on a subject I know I can always use help on, and I think a lot of us would identify with this, on our mouth. And if ever there was a day and time where we need to really guard our words, this is it. So I'm super excited, super, to hear what F.A. has to bring to us today. Thank you, Kim. Wow, your story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, yeah. we did. But it's so awesome. It's nice to be here again, mm -hmm. and nice I am again. so excited. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. So what 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 we say matters. Oh, yeah. absolutely. It really, really mm -hmm. does. It really it really does. We have uh, we know that our words have power, yes. and that's important. I had the honor teaching uh, about the mouth as a gift yeah. during my life in the body series. That uh, journey had given me that opportunity mm -hmm. last semester, and it was just just yeah. awesome. Just hearing mm -hmm. about the different parts of the body and, yeah. and just. Mm -hmm how we're important to one another and how we make up each other. And it's, it's just awesome, it's just awesome. Mm -hmm. We know that our words have the capability of building us up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it can help heal, help yes. save, help, you know, just, just bring sweetness to our hearts yeah. and, and all that. At the same time, on the flip side, it can bring about death. Yeah. It can bring about chaos. It can bring about, you know, havoc. It can bring about despair. Mm -hmm. So some of those things can take up to a lifetime to correct. Mm -hmm. And that is so, so key mm -hmm. today. What we say with our mouth, it really matters. Mm -hmm. And more interesting times have we been in yeah. than these times. You know, we've had so much going on. There's this COVID-19 going on. You know, people are dying. There's the mm -hmm. protests going on. It's just our nation and our world has just gone through quite a bit, Yeah. even in this time, you know. Mm -hmm. And just more than ever, it's time for us to speak the truth. To yeah. one another in love yeah. you know be kind yes. to people you know be mm -hmm. gentle with people mm -hmm. give people second chances and grace even in these mm -hmm. times and so Ephesians 4 25 just reminds me of that it says that we should therefore <clears throat> each of us must put a falsehood and speak truthfully to our neighbors for we are all members of one body mm -hmm. 
you know, I'm just so excited at this, um, the new experience that we're going through. This is just so awesome. Our words are packed with power. People can get excited, people can get pumped, people can do things that they didn't even know they could do just by being encouraged by somebody's word. You yeah. know, you come to me, you tell me something, and all of a sudden I feel like a superwoman. <laughs> yeah. And I'm ready, you know, yeah. to take on the world. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm ready to, to do what I need to do because it helps me to paint a picture. I start to get this clear picture on my mind of what it is I can do, mm -hmm. of, of the opportunities that are laid out before me and, and things I didn't realize I could, I could you know, achieve. I, I start mm -hmm. to see myself, you know, doing that. It brings hope to the people that hear it. Same way, when words are not, um, when they don't come, or when they're constantly used as a put down, mm -hmm. you know, you're no good. Yeah. You never amount to anything. You're stupid, you're this, you're that. They just break mm -hmm. a person. Mm -hmm. They just break a person, and that could lead to a lot of hopelessness and despair. That's right. You never know what one kind word can do to one person. It could save a life. Yes. It could be that that person was headed for destruction, right. disaster. I've heard that before. Mm -hmm. But you asked how I was doing today, and that meant so much to mm -hmm. me. And we're wondering. I just said hello, but you know, yeah. you mm -hmm. never know when you can touch people with the things that you say That's and good. how you say them. That's good. Mm -hmm. So I have two stories to tell that I'm going to share today. Uh, one is, they're not stories that are unique to me per se, but I felt was relevant to the mouth mm -hmm. as a gift or a curse, mm -hmm. and depending on how you look at it. So there's this Jewish rabbi had told this story about two women who got on a bus. Apparently, these two women were friends with another woman. And I think they're young women who were aspiring to get married. And one of them was getting married. And so they get on the bus and one of them says to the other, um, did you hear that Sarah was getting married? She's like, oh, you know, I'm being dramatic now, but just <laughs> imagining what, how, she, how she did it. <laughs> what? The lazy Sarah, the one who's not organized, the one who can't get her act together. Mm -hmm. Now they're on the bus. They're talking. Yeah. So of course, there are people around and they're calling oh. People's names wow. and talking about personal things about about this particular girl who's getting married. You know, she cooked for me once. Was what one of the girls had said, and her food is horrible. Her husband's gonna die of starvation because she doesn't know how to cook. And they're going on and on and on. And after a few minutes, a lady from the back of this women who sat behind them tapped them and said, "Wow, thank you so much for letting me know about Sarah. I'm gonna let my son know right away." that he shouldn't be getting married oh, yeah. to Sarah because oh, yeah. all of these things we didn't see in Sarah. Mm. And so these women are shocked. They're stunned. And guess what they try to do? Oh, no, no, no. You don't have to tell her anything. I mean, tell him anything. You don't have to say anything. She said, oh, no, this is a life-changing event for us, so we have to do that. And they were like, no, Sarah is nice. She's the kindest person that you would ever meet. Mm -hmm. If you needed help, Sarah will be there for you. They began to speak the positives about this girl, this friend that they had. And the lady was adamant. She's like, no, I'm going to let my son know. So the boss bride was long, and after a few minutes of uh, silence, she taps the ladies again and she said, I don't have a son who's getting married and I don't know Sarah. But could you imagine if I was oh, the boy's mother? My mm. word. Wow. 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 There was all those oh. nice things you said about Sarah wow. in the beginning, you know, yeah. in the end. Yes. Why, why didn't you say those wow. things about That's Sarah? Right. And she told That's them, be careful story. about the things yeah. you say. Mm -hmm. You don't know yeah. who's hearing. You don't right. know. Mm -hmm. You don't know who's listening. Mm -hmm. You don't know who you're you know, making an impact mm, on. That's right. And I thought that that was really good. Mm -hmm. I thought that that was really good. So we yeah. need to be careful about our words mm -hmm. at all times. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we might think, I was upset, so I just said. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's okay mm -hmm. to be quiet, as I said so before when mm -hmm. I did the teaching. I had to learn that, because mm -hmm. I'm a talker and it comes like, real quick and then I think about it I'm like oh I shouldn't have said that mm -hmm. yeah. you know or maybe, guilty guilty you know <laughs> <laughs> you know maybe I should have been quiet I had to learn over the years I had to learn with my kids with my husband with my friends with the people around me mm -hmm. I had to learn that it's okay to be quiet yeah. and I don't have to have the last word all the time I thought that that was cool that was it yeah. you know I had right. to have I, mm -hmm. the last word mm -hmm. me right. you know yeah. But Ephesians 4, 29 tells us that we should not allow any unwholesome talk come out from our mouths, mm -hmm. right? But only what is helpful. Mm -hmm. I mean, God is amazing, but only what is helpful. Yeah. 
for building others up according to their needs, not mm -hmm. our needs, because right. we're, yeah. we're selfish people anyway, yeah. you know. It says for their needs, mm -hmm. according to their needs, that it may benefit the ones who listen, mm -hmm. the people who hear. Mm -hmm. Thank God that that woman was in the bus that day. Mm -hmm. It could have been somebody else. And yeah. then the gossip continues yes. about Sarah, who's sure. getting married, and so on and so forth. You know, words are sounds that we make or a combination of sounds that we make. They represent things we want to communicate to people. Mm -hmm. It could be a directive. It could be an order. It could be, you know, a description mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. And words also come in written form. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It could be written. You know, I'm going to just mm -hmm. write out a text. That's Those right. are words. Text are real That's quick. Yeah. To send. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the other person on the other side of the receiving text mm -hmm. is crying or upset and, and you know, mm -hmm. it's put down. God gave us the power of words. He wants he us did. to be expressive. Mm -hmm. That's why he gave us yes. words and mm -hmm. the vocal cords and the mouth so we can worship. Mm -hmm. We can bring back that praise, you know, to him. Yes. But sometimes we get lost mm -hmm. in all of these things and, 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 and the way we say the things and how we approach, you know, those things. I want to share a story about, um, it's a blind beggar. I had seen that on YouTube. I was opportunity to see that on YouTube. Now, this blind beggar sat on a busy street and was asking for money. Mm -hmm. He had a sign that says, I am blind, please help. Mm -hmm. And so he'll get a coin tossed. You hear the ding, one coin, maybe after a few minutes, another coin, and so on and so forth. After some time, a lady walks up and she sees the sign. She was kind of like, picks up the sign and starts to write on the other side of the sign. She wrote for quite some time. He felt her feet, you know, trying to mm -hmm. figure out who's this, but they didn't yeah. speak. Mm -hmm. And then she puts the sign down and she walks away. Mm -hmm. Not too long after that, the coins were coming in dings and dongs and dings and dongs and dings and dongs <laughs> <laughs> to the point where his container was filled in no time. And he was like, what's going on, Yeah, you know? And then he heard those footsteps because people who are blind have a, you know, their yeah, senses are quite sure. mm -hmm. Heard the footsteps that were familiar to him and she came back and stood there and she smiled. Mm -hmm. And he touched her legs and he's like, okay, what did you do to my sign? Yeah. And she said, I didn't do anything. I wrote your story, the same story, but in a different way. And she, what she wrote on the man's sign was, it's a beautiful day and I can't see it. Beautiful yeah. day, mm -hmm. and I can't, I can't see it. Wow. Same yeah. thing. I'm blind. Please yes. help. Wow. But nice. look at the power of words. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. a beautiful day that I mm -hmm. can't see. Oh, that's an awesome mm -hmm. story. Mm -hmm. Just so good, mm -hmm. and that just resonated with me, and and you know, it just it just touched me, and I'm like, mm -hmm. wow. Mm -hmm. Words can actually change the outcome of our situations. Yeah. Like that. Amen. From one ding and dong at a time mm -hmm. to tons and tons That's and tons right. and his cup was full mm -hmm. in no time. Mm -hmm. So how do we go mm -hmm. about doing this? We have the Holy Spirit. God yeah. didn't leave us alone. That's right. He gave yeah. us the Holy Spirit to give us pointers. Um, you know, direct mm -hmm. us, direct our words, channel our hearts to what we should be saying or not saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Things we should sound out. Mm -hmm. I was so encouraged. You know, in the first episode, uh, Johnny had talked about the birds in their mm -hmm. bee format, right? Mm -hmm. And the honking. I'm like, who knew? And that noise really annoys me when I go. I know. It really annoys noise. But wow. Yeah. As annoying as that noise may be, yeah. it is encouragement to the birds who have been mm -hmm. flying tirelessly, yeah. mm -hmm. moving their wings, yeah. saying, come on, yeah. you got yeah, this. It's like you calling me and saying, F.A., you got this, mm -hmm. even when I don't think I can see it. Mm -hmm. Or you encouraging yeah, me, yeah. Johnny, or mm -hmm. you came. Mm -hmm. It's just like yeah. all of us sticking out for each other, honking. Yes. Yes. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> well, I can't do it. You can. Put uh -huh. your back up, you know. Yeah. you know. Get your shoulders square. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Take that first step. Yes. I know you can. Mm -hmm. Just being there for one another. Amen. You know, so we, we just, <clears throat> we're empowered. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. We're not saying you should lie about your circumstance or your situation. That's not the message here. We're not saying being denial. Right. No, 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 no. Yeah. Right. Acknowledge what it is. Yes. Yes. The nature of what you're going through. The difficulty mm -hmm. of your circumstances. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. truth that lies right. behind it. Mm -hmm. But choose to see the good in it. Mm -hmm. 
A patient of mine has shared with me about the COVID-19 coronavirus, the deaths and all of these things. There was something she said that, that, that just got me. She said, Doc, this is a blessing. I'm like, what? What? This is a blessing. She said, because families are together today. She said, I know people died. I'm not, I'm not taking that lightly. Right. Get it? But more than ever, for the mm -hmm. first time in a long time, the family unit is empowered mm -hmm. again. Wow. I'm like, Jesus, mm -hmm. you are Lord. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I told her, I'm going to be mentioning your name because we're talking mm -hmm. about this. This is good. Mm -hmm. You know, just mm -hmm. so honored at what Leticia had shared, yeah. you know, with me. Just so honoring and, and, and all of that. So yeah. we need to choose to speak life right. in the mm -hmm. face of death. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, choose to speak mm -hmm. healing instead of disease. Yes, we know Katie okay, mm -hmm. had hurt, so we mm -hmm. speak life mm -hmm. over it. Mm -hmm. let's, let's, in every situation, mm -hmm. speak wealth instead yeah. of poverty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let us continue in that mode. If you don't know one, it's in the scriptures. It's right here for you. God has given us so many words yes. that can bring about that comfort and healing to our hearts. Mm -hmm. So, I want to end with a prayer verse, and it can be found in Psalm 143. The NIV translation puts it this way. It says, set a guard over my mm -hmm. mouth, Lord, mm -hmm. and then keep watch over the door mm -hmm. of my lips. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, why is the psalmist saying this? Mm -hmm. the, N the New Living Translation puts it this way. Control, take control of what I say, mm -hmm. O oh Lord, yes. and guard mm -hmm. my lips. Mm -hmm. Wow. Good. Mm -hmm. So powerful. Mm -hmm. Wow. This message has really impacted me today, F.A., and I just want to thank you for it because, ladies, I know you, like me, we want our words to speak life. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. You know, to change even the mm -hmm. atmosphere of a room or mm -hmm. in a conversation where someone is uh, spewing out just mm -hmm. negativity mm -hmm. and despair that we can be used of the Holy Spirit yes. with our words. They are so powerful. Mm -hmm. Yes. And ladies, what about you? Do you want that as well? Mm -hmm. We want to hear from you. We want to know how we can pray for you. We'd love to hear what God has been speaking to you, even during this message, the things that stuck out to you. Mm -hmm. If you would do us a favor, and if you are watching this live, leave us some comments there, your praise reports. I want to just share with you in closing before I pray just some ways that we can stay connected, and that is every Wednesday through August 12th, you have that ability to comment. You can ask questions. You can send in your prayer requests during our live stream at 10 a.m. or 7 p.m. We'd love to hear from you that way because during those times, we actually have a group of women that will be there watching those, praying, lifting mm -hmm. you up, even yes. as they come in. So please do that. But then uh, once the live stream has ended, you are still welcome us to email us anytime at, at women at peopleschurch.org. That's women at peopleschurch.org. Any of that, we would love to hear from you. Please be sure to share this yes. uh, show, The New, with your friends. Share, like our page, all of that so that others can be able to listen as well. We're also on YouTube at peopleschurch.org forward slash YouTube. Consider gathering a few friends together and just having those opportunities to, to watch it and then, you know, pray and share. We're going to include some questions for you to interact with at the end of the messages as well. So yes, that'll be good. a nice yeah. addition that we're going to have for you. So ladies, let's go ahead and pray. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the word that has gone forth. Lord, even in this moment, we think of the many, many hundreds that will be tuning in either today or in the weeks and months to come. I praise you, Lord, for the power of our words. And I thank you, Jesus, that you are the word. And Lord, you are the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through you, Jesus. So we praise you that by your Holy Spirit, you will guide and direct the words that we say. And as F.A. said, even give us wisdom on the words not to say. Yes. I praise you, Lord, for the women right now that are even praying with me in this moment. Holy Spirit, that you would speak to us, 
Show us the things that we need to be aware of now moving forward. Maybe we need to do some repair with those around us that we feel like we have hurt with our words. Mm -hmm. God, whatever else we want to move forward mm -hmm. to speak the power of who you are, to praise you with our lips, and also to encourage and bring life to those around us. We love you and give you praise in your wonderful name. Amen. 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 Ladies, it has been Good such work. a joy today. Great yes. word, F.A. Yes. Pam, we loved your story. Yes. And Shauna, thank you so much. And we'll be excited to see you next time, everyone, on the news.